Hi, my name is Olga Tudzakov. I'm a bodybuilding and fitness trainer from Serbia and I'm doing my strength and conditioning certification with the International Sports Sciences Association. I'm boxing for one of the local clubs here in Novi Sad where I also work with some of the boxers and kickboxers in order to help them improve their physical conditioning. This with me is Milica and she's an amateur kickboxer. She's one of the newer members in our club and she's very promising so our goal is to prepare her for the regional championship in light contact kickboxing which is going to take place in four months. We've been working together for one month now. We are still in the general preparation phase of the training. Other than doing a lot of technique work with our coach, we also do resistance training. We went through the anatomical adaptation phase and now we are building basic strength in order to be able to transfer it later on into maximum strength and power. She's also learning the basic lifting techniques so that we can include some power lifts like the clean and snatch later on in the training. So for kickboxing we also need to work on endurance and we do it mostly through interval training, either sprinting or other drills such as suicide runs or 1040s, which I'm going to explain later on. Now I prefer this type of conditioning when it comes to combat sports because it's much more effective other than building both aerobic and anaerobic endurance. We can also simulate the metabolic demands of the fight, which consists of sudden bursts of maximum effort followed by brief rest periods all for a two minute, two minute interval with one minute rest in between rounds. So we can uh, simulate all of that here with different sprints and other drills and it's gonna give better and quicker results. Now it's important to say that Milica already has a strong aerobic base given that she's been involved for years in different types of fitness programs both aerobic and high intensity interval training so that's why we're able to include interval training this early in the preparatory phase. Otherwise, we should be doing more long, slow distance. Now, the reason why we are here today is because we spend most of our time in the boxing gym and in the weight room. So I prefer coming out here from time to time in order to change the environment, breathe some fresh air. And also, this is a perfect place for endurance training. We can do jogging, sprinting, running, also plyometric exercises because this soft ground is much better for jumping and rebounding than the hard floor in the gym. And we can also do certain bodyweight exercises, which is going to be the focus of today's session. Now, what we're going to focus on today are certain prehabilitation exercises, very important at this stage in order to build a base of efficient movement on which we can build sport specific skills. Now, kicking and striking in kickboxing requires strong abdominal activation and strong control while allowing independent movement of the limbs. And that's a, that's a function of the neuromuscular system that needs to be trained in order to maximize performance. And an excellent way to do it is through certain body weight exercises, which we're going to perform today. Uh, they are excellent for functional strengthening of the body uh, while maintaining sport specificity and they also enhance flexibility and the biomechanical efficiency of the hips and the spine in order to prevent injury and maximize strength, power and speed. So you're going to see different types of planks and push-ups. They are all designed with the same goal to keep a stable core while moving the limbs away from the center of the gravity. Now you can start your warm-up. She's going to do a general warm-up, which consists of easy jogging for two laps or two times 400 meters. And that's going to be followed by certain dynamic warm-up drills. Uh, that's going to be performed for 50 meters. And then she's going to jog back to the starting line and she's going to do a different exercise. This will consist, consist of skipping step-overs, lateral movements, certain sport-specific drills like punching, and some other stuff. After that, she's gonna do a drill called 1020. That's a drill that consists of designating a 30 meter track, which is divided into 10 meters and 20 meters. Now for the first 10 meters, uh, she needs to perform a certain task. Could be anything from bear walk, which she's gonna do today, 
to any plyometric exercise like skipping, hopping, bounding, squat jumps, multiple long jumps, even bouncing push-up. So anything for the first 10 meters and then it's followed by a 20 meter all-out sprint. Now when we use it for endurance, we usually do 10 meters plus 40 meters and we do from 5 to 10 repetitions followed by a brief walking rest. This time when we do it at the beginning of the training, we simply use it to work on speed and power and to additionally elevate the heart rate and we only do 3 repetitions of 10 plus 20. After the 10 20s, uh, she's going to move on to the main part, move on to the body weight exercises. This will consist of one warm-up set, which is designed to additionally warm up the muscles and the joints and enhance flexibility, prepare the body for the rest of the training. And then the main part is organized in a circuit manner. You're going to do three rounds of four different exercises. Now each exercise is performed for 30 seconds, one immediately after the other. So that's two minutes for the first four exercises, followed by 60 seconds rest and then two minutes for the second four exercises. They are all body weight. Now the third set is performed with a medicine ball. Uh, this is a very useful equipment. We use it a lot in the training. Uh, we can use it for upper body plyometrics with different throws or trunk plyometrics with different twisting movements. We can also add instability to some of the exercises, for example, when performing push-ups on the medicine ball which will additionally strengthen the shoulder joints. Whenever we do uh, our workouts and we are not working on maximum strength or power, which would require maximum recovery, we try to keep the rest period uh, not longer than 60 seconds because there's a time interval she's going to have between two rounds and she needs to teach her body to recover in those 60 seconds. So she needs to learn to lower her heart rate enough to be ready for the next round in those 60 seconds. So whenever we do sub-maximal exercises, body weight exercises, even warm-up drills, we try to keep the rest period not longer than 60 seconds. Now she's finishing her job and we're gonna start with the warm-up drills. The dynamic warm-up. You're gonna perform each exercise until the second mark and then you're gonna jog back to the first mark. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you the other exercise. Okay, ready? Lateral jumps.
So now we're gonna do bear walk 1020s, which means she's gonna perform bear walk for 10 meters, and then that's gonna be followed by a 20 meter sprint. And we're gonna do three repetitions of this. I'm gonna demonstrate. So now we're gonna move on to the body weight exercises. You're gonna have one warm-up set that consists of five exercises. You're gonna do each one of them for 10 repetitions. And that set is done only once. Okay, I'm gonna show you, you can perform it, and then we're moving on to the circuit part of the training. Okay, the first exercise. I'm gonna go to a push-up position. Widen your legs. And you go up with your hips. And then you go down. And then up again. Down. The second exercise is going to be bootstrapper squats. So you're going to keep your hands on the floor and you're going to bring your hips down and up. And you can perform squats with your hands on the floor. The third one is going to be side bends. So you go to bend from side to the other side. 10 repetitions each side. Then the fourth one is going to be reverse lunges. Okay. Keep 90 degree angle in your knees. And then the last one is going to be Cossacks. So keep one leg straight, you bend the other leg. One side and then to the other side. Then back to one side and that's it. 10 repetitions each leg. Okay? Ready? One more. Squats. Keep your hands on the floor. And bring your hips up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Side bends. So these exercises are designed mostly to enhance flexibility. They're going to lubricate the joints and make the rest of the training easier. You don't have to hurry, so you do. do you can do these exercises at your own pace. Okay, try to go a bit further with that.
very good. Now for the circuit part, we're going to have three rounds of four different exercises. You will perform each exercise for 30 seconds, one immediately after the other. So one round is two minutes. Then you will have 60 seconds of rest. You breathe and in the meanwhile I'm going to show you the next four exercises. So the first exercise will be skipping the twist. You're going to be doing this for 30 seconds and then you go down to a push-up position. Hands shoulder width apart. You're going to lower your body. Up to one leg. Bring it back and then push up. Lower your body. Up to your leg. Bring it back and then push up. Easier option. If you cannot perform any more push-ups, you just stay here at the upper position and you keep adapting your leg. So one, you keep your leg extended, you adapt it, you bring it back, okay? After that, you go to your back, we're gonna do knee bridges. So you extend your leg, you bring your knee and hip up, you extend your leg, keep your hip up, and then you put it down. Extend, up, extend, down. The fourth one, you're gonna get to a plank, keep your body straight, and then bring one knee to your elbow and the left knee to the left elbow. Okay? By keeping your body straight. That's the first four exercises. If you want you can drink some water, we're gonna start the pipe. Ready? Yep. Five seconds. Skipping knee twist. Go. very sport specific exercise we usually start with a more dynamic one and then we move on to push-ups and planks and strength exercises Try not to move your hips either up or down and not to twist your body. In 10 more seconds.
Okay, the next four exercises. First one, burpees. Then again, you go down to push up position. Hands wider than shoulder width apart. You lower your body, bring your knee to your elbow. Bring it back. You lower your body. And then the tenth one is going to be squat kicks. And the last one, high plank. You bring one knee to the opposite end and you touch it. With the burpees, try to go deep into a squat. Okay, five seconds. modified push-ups if you want you can do them from your knees. Spider-Man push-ups. Try not to twist your body. Keep your body straight. Keep your head up. And try to do it slowly. That's it. Okay, one minute rest. Ball crunching. Bring the ball here. You extend your body. You bring the ball back. You extend the body. Okay. Ready? Start. to go deeper into a squat. Do them from your knees. Start. 
Rest. Okay, now we finished the first round. Now she has two minutes rest and we're gonna repeat all this two more times. You ready for the second round? In five seconds. Good. Ready? Go. Okay, now for the end of the training we are gonna perform suicide runs. That's a drill, a kind of a progressive shuttle run. Uh, which consists of running 10 meters, then changing direction and running back. Running 20 meters, coming back, and 30 meters, coming back. Uh, today we're gonna do three repetitions of 30 meter suicide runs. Otherwise, when we do it as an endurance training, we perform 5 to 10 repetitions and we progress from 30 meters to 50 meters. It's a very good exercise for anaerobic conditioning as an interval training. I prefer this type rather than just sprints because it involves rapid, uh, rapid direction changes which is very important in kickboxing. Do these exercises sometimes at the end of the training session uh, in order to stress the body when it's already tired uh, because we want to simulate the last round of the fight. When you're already tired you want to give up but that's when you have to give your maximum and that's when you have to perform at maximum intensities if you want to win. So she's not going to be able to run these suicide runs at maximum speed now or to develop maximum power, but that's not the point. The point is only to stress the body when tired.
good luck to Milica. She was very good. Thank you for your help.